does your TV have a black screen but have sound like this TV here and it also has a standby light? Well, the issue is probably your backlight. So we can have a look at this. The first thing that you would do is remove all the screws on the back of the case so that we can look at the electronics on the inside. Here are some images of the boards just in case you need them. Uh, main board here, the TCOM board, and the power supply. And the codes are here as well. The first thing that you want to do is remove the LED strips and that's the top connector there. There are three strips of LEDs and in series, so they'll measure about 35 volts each. Uh, the positives on the left there and the negatives to the right. If those, those should measure 35 volts and it, one of the strips is not uh, measuring that voltage. So I need to take off the front panel. To do that, first remove the speakers for, from the main bit board there, and then also connect, disconnect the ribbon cables. We need to remove the plastic bezel that holds the screen on. And just using a screwdriver, you can just pry that bezel off going around the outside and then just pulling it off gently there. Now what we're going to do is fold the ribbon cables of the LCD on top of the screen there. They just pry up gently and then taping that with electrical tape to the LCD. With those taped on, we're using two suction cups to remove the screen and it's putting it on a soft surface. There's other plastic bezel, the same idea, just unclipping it all around the outside and removing that. And underneath that, there's these white um, filter papers. Tape the filter papers together so you know the order of them. And then we'll be removing the filter paper papers as well. With that out, there are two supporting little uh, um, clips here that we need to remove on the back of the TV. And they uh, go on the other side, so just remove that. because Then we can remove the um, white paper at the bottom of the TV. Now with uh, access to the LED strips, just using your volt, uh, your LED tester there, I put a link of, to the LED tester in the description. You can see the top strip is working and it measures, I believe it is 35 volts. Each of these LEDs is three volts and I put also a replacement LEDs in the description. The top and bottom one working, but the middle one was not. So we have to find out the blown one. It could just be one or a couple. And so I'm just going down the row here and I found one that wasn't lighting up. So I just removed that and then just using some snippet tools, just breaking off that LED. And then on those broken pads, I can place some liquid uh, solder and then putting the replacement LED on. You'll notice that there's a big and small pad, put it in the correct orientation. And then I'll use my heat gun to uh, heat up that to make the contact. You can also do this with a normal soldering iron, um, but uh, it's a little bit more tricky, but it is doable. You can check my channel for a video on how to do that. So just heating it up, and then that will make that LED contacted to this LED strip. And just push it there, just make sure it flows on nice. And then we have the LED on. Now this testing to see if it turns on, making sure it's not a short. If it's a short, you just have to kind of reorientate it. And then we need to glue on the filter cap. The filter cap there, I'm just using some shoe glue. I found that shoe glue worked qu quite well, or you can use silicone glue there. And this uh, glue that filter cap back on. And then we'll test it to make sure that it's in the crate orientation. You can see I'm testing the strip and the LEDs going on there. And that strip's working. So the strips are, seem to be okay. So you want to test it under load. So just flipping it over, putting the power cable to the TV without the screen on, and that will fire up the backlights just to make sure that they all turn on. And you can see that they're all going there. And with that uh, verified, we can reassemble this TV the same way that we took it apart, just putting those little plastic uh, clips on and the filters and then the LCD screen as well and putting everything back together. So here's the TV, it's uh, working again. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe.